what is angular so before proceeding to the angular framework you should be familiar with the following concepts javascript html css as we have discussed all these topics in previous episodes i hope you have the basic understanding of javascript html and css angular is the most widely used frameworks in the industry why angular is so popular because of its support for scalability if we design the uh, web applications without angular framework then we cannot scale those applications for the wide number of users more the number of users come to our website more heavy the website will become there is 99% chance if maximum traffic comes to your website right it would not handle the heavy traffic so angular helps us in that angular is a component based framework for building scalable web applications we can build the scalable applications for the large number of users using the components a collection of well integrated libraries that covered a wide variety of features including routing form management client server communication and more so what exactly is framework framework is just a set of libraries written in javascript and combined in one uh, folder in one framework and named as an angular so these libraries are built by the engineers who developed the angular uh, these libraries support many things for example page navigation using routing also angular builds the single page application due to which it loads fast what is node js used for uh, to install the angular we have to use the node package manager npm so for that we have to understand what node js is node js is a server side programming primarily deployed for non blocking event driven servers now what does that mean we have seen how php handles the request so here user is requesting some code to php and php is handling the request and php how php handles the request php sends it to the server computer server computer will open that request see what's inside that what the user is requesting and fetch that content from the computer and sends it to the php and php again sends it to the client so this way php handles the user request from the website so here when user is requesting to php php goes to the computer and handles all that stuff in that case the server computer has to wait until the request is done until the request is served to the client user whereas in case of node js what happens is user request the server which is node js node js is just a just like php and it is used for server side programming so user fills the form and request uh, to submit that form details into the form using node js so node js goes to the file system computer's file system there he fetch the request open the request what user has sent see the details inside that request save it and then send the response but in this case server computer is ready to accept the next request also the uh, server computer do not wait do not let the user wait for the complete response user has that power to send the next request until the first request is served like user first like user has filled first form and send the request to the node js and node js sends it to the server computer and computer is handling the request till then user can also fetch the music the mu- video from the database using node js and node js will send it send that request to server computer and server computer can handle that request as well so that is the power of node js that's why node js is called as a non blocking programming it is asynchronous it do not block the user request until the first request is served we can send as many request as the user wants and that also makes node js memory efficient 
So think from the user's perspective. Why should user wait for another request till the first request is served? So user wants flexibility. He wants everything on a website should be quick. Now we are going to install the Angular first and set up our first project and how to connect the git repository which we have created in episode 1 with this angular project we will create one web app using angular today and i will assign some task to you so you will get more clarity about the concept so first thing which we are going to see today is how to install the angular so the steps to install the angular are first step is install npm node package manager so what is node package manager node package manager is a tool for installing third party libraries and dependencies to our project so all the libraries which we are going to use in this uh, project are installed using the npm for example if you want to add the animation if you want to add the bootstrap if you want to add the video animations effects and other libraries which we will use like payment gateways so in that case npm is going to be helpful for us so that's why the first step is to install the npm and to install the npm this is a website I, I will show you the practical demo how to install it but first we will understand how to install the angular so first step is install npm second step is install angular cli what is cli command line interface so this is a command which installs the angular in our project okay third step is we will create the angular project using this command and finally we will run the app angular supports live server for example if in visual studio you are changing some content on a web page automatically that will be reflected on the browser if you save it so this is the best part about angular the dependencies which we are going to require in this project is bootstrap install angular material this is a command which is required to install the angular material all the commands and the links and the resources which are required to set up your project i will send it to you on your um, email id these commands are used for installing angular material animations okay let's install the angular now the first step here is install the node.js in your system so for that this is a website node.js install it from here download it and then install it into your system step 2 which we are going to run this command is this install angular now where to run this command so if you remember in previous episode in the first episode we have created the git repository right learning purposes repository so open that repository in visual studio So I will remove all these things first. Let me delete all the things. Okay. So this was the repository which we have created, right? And uh, opened it into a Visual Studio. Now here, what you have to do is go to the terminal here. New terminal. Okay. Here, run the command. Install angular cli okay here we will install the angular cli i will send you all these commands to your gmail id so what's the issue here it is showing a permission issue okay so what you have to do here is run sudo and then npm install that command sudo is uh, for the super user for the admin user then it will ask for your system password give it and you have that angular installed in your system the third step here is we will create a new project here ng new learning resources so learning resources is the name of our project and we are going to create that project using this command so this is a new project and 
would you like to add the angular routing routing is more important i will tell you what routing is it is used for page navigations like from one page to another page how do we jump so routing will help in that so here you have to type y yes here it is asking for the option for css so there are many options to add the styling using angular so we will use the css part so keep it selected and press enter it is installing the npm packages for this project learning resources learning courses As you can see here on the left navigation bar we have our learning courses project setup Now this command ng serve open will run our project okay so ng serve open now it is showing this command is not available when running the angular cli outside a workspace so this is our repository if i type ls here you can see we have ls command shows all the files in into this folder right so learning resources so we have to go to that learning courses here so type cd and the name of that uh, folder which we have created project here okay cd learning resources and press enter so we are now inside the learning courses here you have to run this command ng serve open you can use the keyboards up arrow to see what com what command you have used previously so here ng serve open here type y This is the first project which is getting displayed on this website localhost and this is a port number okay server port number this is important so by default 4200 is its port number now if you notice here on the left side of this explorer visual studio you can see a well structured project right so here inside this source src we have this app inside this index.html we have to add this bootstrap library and also we have to install this angular material so copy this command and add it here if you want to add another terminal you can use this plus symbol here okay and here you have to type first ls go to the learning courses here cd learning courses copy this learning courses enter and then you have to add this ng add material so what this so what this angular material will do is it will install all the angular material files i will tell you what is angular material it is used for designing the web page all the things are very easy just install let's set up the project first and then we will go for it here we are getting four options so indigo pink we will go by default type y for yes enter include and enable animations say yes and this will install the angular material okay now here inside the source we have this app here inside app we have four files html css and ts so every component every component like when we are running this for project now we are getting this page okay all the tags all the components are written inside this html file and all the css part will be added here and all the javascript and now javascript functions will not work here we have to use the typescript here so angular supports typescript instead of javascript so we will explore step by step what typescript is and what are the things which you need to learn so for now we have four files html css ts okay three files sorry html css ts and this spec.ts this is a 
specification for this ts file this will be added automatically we don't need to touch this file we are just concerned with these three files okay routing module file now this is the file which indicates the navigation between the pages so for example we have to jump to another page so for that we have the routing okay for page navigation basically we use the routing so all the navigation page like which page indicates which navigation that will be included here so for example what we will do now is we will create one component today ng generate ng generate component and give it as name admin login okay so what you can see here inside app there is this admin login folder added and inside this admin login we have again four files html css and ts file okay so all the things related to the admin login page will be added inside this now if you i have mailed you all the screens which we are going to create inside this project so admin login screen will be this so this is a component inside which we are going to create this screen okay similarly we have to create the admin home component so we will do that let me remove all the stuff again i will show you go to terminal new terminal here ls what is the name of your project this project name is created using this command right ng new learning resources which we have done previously so we have to go to that folder first and then only you can create or run the angular com commands ng generate component admin home so this will add the admin home with four files its html css and typescript file okay now what i want is by default the my project is running this app.component.html file here this one i don't want this i want admin login to be the first screen so how to do that go to app routing.module.ts file here in this file admin login and give it a, a path remove all these things so admin login what is the path which we are going to notice admin login and admin login component admin login component when when i pressed enter this line is added here this is a header file which indicates admin login component is present inside this folder admin login this is automatically added so if i run if i save the project now here you can see admin login works now where it is coming from it is coming from this html file admin login works okay so what we will do now is re remove all the content inside this app dot component so that we don't want that only keep this router outlet i will tell you what is this but keep this thing for now so here as you can see admin login works if i don't add this admin login here by default admin login is our root page why because inside this app routing we have added admin login to be the first page which our web app should run okay now similarly if i run admin home from here admin home is not coming because our navigation is not set like our web app should, uh, web app do not know what is admin home so we have to add the path for that also what is the path which we are going to look at here what we have to type admin home so tell your web app that admin home means what admin admin home means this component so this will add this header file automatically and when i type admin home now it will take me to the admin home works 
means this component admin home components okay so this is how this process works now so for now your task is to set up the complete project and let's see what all the changes which we have done is reflected inside our bit bucket or not so as you can see inside the file status first of all you have to open the source tree and if you have uh, followed me on the first episode you have noticed we have created this repository open that repository and inside the file status you can see all the changes which we have done right now okay so all you have to do is add it to the index all the files commit it admin login and admin home component added component added and push it commit it and all the changes will be reflected inside this commit so here you can see admin login and admin home component added so so now even if my system gets formatted all the stuff will be available online so this is the power so this is the first task which we have to do create these components create these files and set up the complete project in the next lecture i'm going to tell you about how to create these input boxes previously we used input tags to create these input boxes right but we have something special now which is called as angular material so as you can see type angular material here here you have all the components which are required so all the animations like example go to example all these animations will be added by default just by using this angular material we have installed angular material in this lecture but now we have to understand how this works how to add these angular components inside our web app so like see you can see the animations are handling are getting added automatically here right so these are by default angular material library we are going to use this menu right progress bar like this so all this stuff is done inside the angular material so i hope you got the basics like how to set up the angular project what is angular project what is npm what to install npm what is ng this was the basics now we will explore how to install the angular material component inside our web app and uh, how to create the pages like this okay so this image is by default like which we create using our basic html this is heading but these animated controls like forms control this checkbox animation button tag so this we will handle using the angular material these are the screens which you have to create in this app okay so we will explore this step by step in the next episode we will understand the angular material and angular cycle first life cycle how angular app works we have to understand the angular life cycle without which it will be difficult for you to understand the basics we have to understand what this app dot module what this import means what this declaration means what is this ng module what is this provider bootstrap we have to explore each and everything package dot json angular dot json angular dot json what this files means so we have to go through the life cycle first and then we will uh, touch our first task which is admin login screen okay see you in the next episode till then complete this task we will be in sync in our project right Thank you.